All right, today we're going to talk about the complex built-in function in Python 3. I think the best place to start is with the complex number definition on Wikipedia. So a complex number is a number that can be expressed in the form a plus b i, where a and b are real numbers, and i is a solution of the equation x squared equals negative 1. A real number is what you think it is. It's just, you know, a normal number for <laughs> just a normal number. And an imaginary number, let's take a look. So an imaginary number is a complex number that can be written as a real number multiplied by the imaginary unit i. So let's run this complex function with no arguments and we'll see zero j here. Now if we uh, remember from our uh, Wikipedia article it uses the imaginary unit i and then in Python we're using j. The reason for that um, is explained in the Stack Overflow article that I'll link up in the video notes. Why are complex numbers in Python denoted with j instead of i? Um, the answer is because Python follows the electrical engineering convention. So you can think of them as the same thing, i, j, whatever, it's all good. Now let's go to the docs and just take a look at what we're talking about in a Python context. So complex takes two arguments, real and imaginary, um, and we return a complex number with the value real plus imaginary times 1j. So let's open the shell and see what we're working with. So like I showed you before, if we run it without any arguments, we get 0j. If we run it with one argument, this represents the real and then the imaginary defaults to zero. So you see the real and the imaginary defaults to zero. If we did it with zero for the real and one for the imaginary, you see one J, that's the imaginary. And if we gave a value for both, we see one plus one J. If we assign this, we can also do some cool stuff. So actually let's do A equals complex one and just to differentiate I'll make that a two so here's a one plus two j and we can do a dot real and get the one here and we can do a dot image and get the two so we can kind of access the values within this complex number another thing I want to show you is if we have this a just to show you what type it is uh, it's a complex class.